Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you class inheritance. So class inheritance basically allows you to create another class that, uh, best way to put it, is like absorbs all of the functionality of another class and can implement its own. So that's really, really cool. So we have this vehicle, but we don't, you know, go and, you know, buy a vehicle. Well, obviously we do, but we go and buy a car, we go and buy a bike, we go and buy a truck, you know, whatever it is. We buy a certain type of vehicle, but they, you know, they all have speed properties, they all have, you know, a name, they all have, you know, basic properties. So instead of duplicating that again and again, that's one of the main reasons you use classing in general to help prevent and reduce the amount of code that you have to write. And we can go a step further with class inheritance. So if we want to create a car class, you just put class, then you know the name of your class, so in this case is car, like so. But if you want to absorb or inherit all of the properties of the vehicle class after the name, you simply put the keyword extends and you put the name of the other class, which is vehicle, like so. And you'll see this error disappear. And now, car has all of its functionality. So let me demonstrate it. So if I comment out all of this, and if I do car c1 equals new car, and let's do c1.drive, as you can see, it's got that method, even though we haven't implemented it here, Getting an error here. Uh, okay, yeah, I know what that problem is. So we just need a constructor like so. And we'll get rid of you know these here. Let's fix that error. If we do c one dot drive and let's say if we do c one dot max speed equals ten. And maybe what I'll also do is c one dot uh, I'll print out max speed first so c1 dot max speed i'll print it out again after i've changed it so if i run this now we get high drive 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 60 and 20. so the high is coming from here so the child class inherits all of the properties and methods so if you want something specific in here, like you can add variables, you can add methods, whatever you want. I'm just going to add a method saying void, hello, and I'll just do a print in it. I'll just do something simple, upper, hello, hello, I am a car. And if I was to do c1 dot hello and run it. We get hello, I am a car. But if I was to create a vehicle, and uh, call it v1 equals new vehicle, and do v1 dot hello, as you can see, we will get an error any moment now. It's because this is not defined. We don't actually have this in the vehicle class. It's within the child class. So the child class gets all the functionality from vehicle and gets, or, or you can add extra functionality as well you can add variables here you can add get and set custom getters and setters as well you can have a custom constructor so we could have car and i'm just going to print saying custom constructor so if i was to run that now we get custom constructor so this also gets run when we do new car and obviously, there's not much more to it than that. Obviously, you can add as many you know properties and as many variables, methods, do whatever you want as you normally would within a class. But it'll just be specific to this car class. But it also has all the functionality of the vehicle class. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.